Hello, today's lesson is going to be on 2.3, quick graphs of linear equations. So we're going to start with what you're the most familiar with is graphing in slope intercept form y equals mx plus b and we know that m is going to be your slope and that b is going to be your y-intercept. This is the form that you need for your calculator. So if you're not doing it in your calculator, if you're doing it by hand, you can use either form, but anytime you're entering an equation to your calculator, it must be solved for y in slope-intercept form. So let's go ahead and start with our first one. We've got y equals 3 fourths x minus 2. So we're going to start with our y-intercept at negative 2. And our slope is 3 over 4, so we're going to rise 1, 2, 3, run 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right. Since it's positive, we go up, and positive, we go right. Up, one, two, three, right, one, two, three, four. You also can go in the other direction, down, one, two, three, left, one, two, three, four. You can continue that in both directions. Connect your points with a straight edge. If you don't have a ruler, that's fine. Your ID works really, really well. Next one, we have y is equal to a negative x plus four. Our slope is negative 1, our y-intercept is 4, so we start up at a positive 4. Now our slope being a negative 1, this could be a negative 1 over 1, or it could be 1 over a negative 1. So we can go down 1, right 1, or up 1, left 1. And you can continue that in both directions as well. Connecting your points with the straight edge. Next we have y equals 8. Now if you want to do y equals 8, a lot of you just know that y equals 8. Go to y equals 8 and you know that's going to be a horizontal line. If you forget that y equals is a horizontal line, then you go to your y-axis, you find where 8 is. If you found 8 on the y-axis, it doesn't make sense to go up and down because then you have a bunch of different values. So you find y is equal to 8 and then you draw it the opposite direction of the axes that you're on. And our last one, x equals negative 2, we go to the x-axis, find negative 2, and then we draw it the opposite direction of the axes that we're on and x equals, all x equals lines are going to be vertical lines. Alright, so slope intercept form you are good. That's a quick review. Now remember when you're writing the y-intercept, so if I ask you for what is the y-intercept or the x-intercept, anytime I ask you for any intercept, you must give me the coordinates. If you just give me the number and not the coordinates, you're not going to get full credit. Alright, now a form that you may be less familiar with is graphing if your equation is in standard form. Now if it's in standard form, you can go ahead and solve for y and use slope intercept form, which is perfectly acceptable, but you can also use the x and the y intercepts. But remember, just like before, always give the coordinates for any intercepts that you're giving. Alright, so let's look at, if I have a line, I'm just going to draw a random line here, and if I have the x-intercept, the x-intercept is when your y value is equal to zero because it's on the x-axis it hasn't moved up down any. If I'm looking for the y-intercept where my line crosses the y-axis my x value is going to be zero. So for our first one if I want to find the x-intercept we know our y is equal to zero we plug in 0 for y. So we've got 2x plus 3 times 0 is equal to 12. 3 times 0 is just 0, so we've got 2x equals 12. Divide by 2 and we find that x is equal to 6. That is not your answer. Your answer is x is 6 and you plugged 0 in for y. If you want to find your y-intercept, we know that our x value is 0. So we plug 0 in for x. So we've got 3y is equal to 12, y is 4, 
and since x is 0 and y is 4, the coordinates are 0, 4. When we go to graph this, we go to 6, 0, 0, 4, and we can make a quick graph just using those two points. Alright, and we can even make this even quicker. Since we know that for your x-intercept, your y value is 0, and you're going to be plugging 0 in for y, what you can do is you can just cover up the y value and make your mini equation. You find that x is 2, therefore your, equation, your coordinates are 2, 0. If we want to find our y-intercept, then all we have to do is cover up the x and solve for y. So we've got our other equation, y equals, our negative y equals 6, so y is equal to a negative 6. Your coordinates, since y is negative 6, that means your x is 0. All right, so this point we have 2, 0 as our x-intercept, 0, negative 6 as our y-intercept. Using those two points, you can connect and there is your quick graph. So your two options for graphing is your slope intercept form. You can also graph using standard form and using the x or y intercepts. It does not matter which method you use. Both methods will give you the same graph. Alright, nice short lesson for today. You are all done.